hey guys welcome back to my channel so today what I'll be doing I'll be showing you how I cook my black rice and this is the one that I use this is purple rice some say black I don't know if it's the same but this one is the purple rice and it's rich in anti antioxidant and it is American farmed purple rice I'll be using my Himalayan salt and I'll be I already went ahead and put my thyme in my pot I put my garlic in my pot and I'll be using gungu peas I don't know if it's the same thing you call it but we call it gungu peas I don't know if it's the one that you call pigeon peas but I know it as gungu peas all right so this is my rice I went ahead and soak it from last night I wash it and I soak it so when I get up in the morning the remaining water that is left on the rice I don't throw it away I keep it and I just throw it in the pot all right so uh, the peas already cook and the garlic and I put a pepper I had a pepper to the pot and that's my time and that's the this is the piece okay so I'm just gonna add salt to the pot and I'm going to add a little coconut powder this is optional if you want to put coconut powder in your pot it's up to you it's all up to you if you want to include it but I just put a small amount in mine because I like the flavor of coconut some people don't like the flavor of coconut so it's optional for you so we're gonna start okay as you can see I already started I already cooked the, the gungu peas so this is what the gungu peas look like. This is it. This is the gungu peas. As I said, I don't know what you know it as, but growing up I know it as gungu peas. I don't know if the same one you call pigeon peas, but you know. All right, so I'm gonna add the coconut powder So you know I'm, I'm brown stewing chicken for the kids but I'm not doing a brown stew video so you won't see this today how it's done. So I threw about half of the pack in the water. So I'm gonna get, put some of the salt in the pot. About this amount is good. The good thing about the Himalayan salt, it's not really, it's not salty. It's not salty at all. So when it's cooked, it's soft. This is the gungo. We call it gungo, please. We don't. I don't know what you call it. So I'm going to add the rice to the pot. What I notice with cooking this rice, you can't put too much water in the pot, and it takes a bit of time to cook. So you have to leave it on a low heat. You have to leave it on low heat. and then you come back to it. I'm trying to get everything out of the dish. So 
so when I cook this it served me for the entire week so I meal prep I take a bit with me for lunch daily so I'm stirring the pot to make sure everything comes together So, so when it's so this is it so when it's finished cooking now I'll come back and I'll show you what my next step is okay I'll be back hey guys welcome back to the channel so I did went ahead and go and start salting my onion my bell pepper and my garlic because if I carry you through all that process it's got the video is going to take too long so as you can see i have onion let me hold it up onion i have squash i cut small pieces of squash and bell pepper i have three different colors of bell pepper and i did put my garlic in So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add my black pepper to the salty onion and bell pepper. And I'm going to add a bit of I just like the taste of these sage leaf organic all that I'm using is organic so I'm just gonna sprinkle a small bit amount small amount I'm not gonna use a lot because I don't want it to be too the taste um, too too much so this and I'm um, cilantro. All right, this one hard to come out. So. Okay. This is cilantro leaf. Cilantro leaf. And I like to put a little oregano. Uh, this is what my husband plant and then he let it dry and then he, um, he crush it or blend it together. <coughs> oh Lord, sorry, excuse me. I'm going to pour a bit there. So I like to add squash to my saute onion, my purple rice, because I think it's more filling when I do so with the rice. It, it's a good combination and the color. I do it for color also. So this is the rice. So I finished cooking the black rice. So I'm going to pour it into the pot with the saute onion. Oh, it's still hot. So this is how it looks after it's cooked. It's still hot, so I have to be careful. So I'm going to stir it into... So it's like I'm frying black rice or purple rice. 
it's like more um I'm frying it after I cook it. I'm just gonna pour the rest in. So I'm gonna mix it in. So I'm gonna turn the heat down. And I did use, um, to fry it up, I use organic coconut oil. So see how, how it's, it's getting so colorful. And this is how I like to see it. I like to see the different colors. Sometimes if I'm not using the purple rice, I use the spaghetti, spell spaghetti. That's what I use. If I'm not using the, the, the purple rice, I go ahead and use the spell spaghetti. I think it's stirred in enough. So I'm going to leave it for about five minutes, cover the pot, leave it for about five minutes, and then it should be ready to eat. So this is how it looks. Let me show you. This is how it looks. And I'm going to cover the pot. And I'm going to leave it for about five minutes and then it should be ready. I'm not going to add anything else. This is good enough. But what I normally do, I use vegetable broth when I leave it to steam down. But today I don't have any vegetable broth. So I'm just going to do it like this. And I can't bother to go to the store to go get any. So I'll come back within five minutes. So guys, this is how it's looking after it is done. It's done. I kept it on for five minutes or a little less than five minutes. So this is the end, ending product. That's it. That's it. All right. And I did went ahead and share it a bit in the plate. So this is it. Okay, so guys, um, I was just showing you what I eat on a Sunday. Mainly this is what I eat on Sundays. And then I'll carry it out through the week. Enough, it would be enough to last. It would be enough to last for the week. Right? It would be enough to last for the week. So, when I'm not using the purple rice, I use spelt spaghetti with the same ingredients with the same onion squash all of that the only difference is going to be spell so i'm um, so today i use purple rice and see i put a little bit of vegetable on the side so this is what i eat on sunday sometimes i fry fish or steam fish to go along with it and then all of that will last me for the entire week. So this is what I did. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for taking the time out, out of your busy schedule for watching my video. I appreciate this so much. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe to this channel. I appreciate your support. See you in my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.